Online tracking and monitoring have been with us since the dawn of the internet. In the beginning, most people also saw online tracking of internet users as harmless. This is why we have the famous saying, if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. Sadly, governments and corporations now use security as an excuse to harvest as much information as possible about everyone online. Corporations use this information to better target advertisements. However, many also share and sell this data. Others use things like location data and altogether more nefarious purposes. Prices for online products and services often change dynamically to match your location. Streaming media services like Netflix make different content available in different locations and charge dynamic subscription prices. And your internet service provider monitors users' downloads and streaming habits, then notify copyright owners when they suspect that illegal sharing or viewing of content might be taking place. So that's why we have a virtual private network. When you use a virtual private network to access the internet, neither your ISP nor anyone else can see what you're doing online. This is made possible thanks to the fact that VPNs route all your traffic through an encrypted tunnel. Different virtual private network clients work slightly different. However, at Shielded VPN, which is my sponsor, we go through and route all your traffic through a dynamic network of 300,000 different IP addresses. I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to set up a virtual private network on the iPhone so you're able to go ahead and protect yourself. This is going to go ahead and make things safe like connecting to public Wi-Fi. When you connect to public Wi-Fi, people can see what you're doing and this will make it so they can't see. Shielded is by far the best VPN that I saw on the internet and I decided to go ahead and partner with them because I needed someone that I could trust. There are no logs kept. Over 140 different countries it's available with 2,000 servers online. That's a lot of power there. It's nice with the iPhone because the iPhone has settings just built in automatically. All you have to do is put in a few settings and you have the VPN connection all set up. You definitely don't have to use Shielded if you have your own VPN, that's fine as well. I do recommend Shielded if you are looking for one, but if you already have one, you can go ahead and set this up the same way. If you are interested in Shielded VPN, I will put the link down below. And with that said, let's go ahead and show you how to set it up so you know exactly how to get it working on your phone. This is how you set it up. We go ahead and choose settings. And then we go ahead and choose general. Once we're in general, we're going to scroll down a bit just for VPN. We're going to go ahead and choose VPN. Here we're going to go ahead and choose add VPN configuration. With this, it does say type across the top. You could choose whatever you'd like. ICAV2 is a very secure and fast protocol. So that's the one I usually suggest, but you can go ahead and set up other ones as well. It's very similar. If you do use any of the others, they will ask for a secret question. If you are set up with shielded, the secret question for that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All the other information will all be contained in your welcome email. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and choose description. We'll type shielded VPN. For server, when you get your email, there'll be a list of different ones you could choose. We're going to go with the New York server for me. Then we're going to go ahead and put in the remote ID. Point to server.com is all it takes. We're going to go ahead and go to username and password. You'll go ahead and enter that exactly as it is in the email. It is case sensitive for the password. Make sure you go ahead and get that set up correctly and then choose done. Now we'll be on this screen here and this is showing that it's been added correctly. If you wanted to add anything out, any other VPNs you can down below. Here it's going to say not connected. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. It's going to go ahead and get connected. And now at the top right, it shows VPN. So that's awesome. We are now connected. An awesome thing about VPN, say you're at a place and you're using their Wi-Fi. Not only does it protect you, but if they're blocking you from going anywhere, say they don't want you to play games on your phone, or they don't want you to go to, say, Burger King's website and you're at McDonald's. When you turn this on, you'll be able to go ahead and still access those sites and still play those games. It's kind of like you're in your own area. It's secure. No one can see it. 
and you're all set. If you go ahead and go back twice, you go back to your main menu and you'll see now VPN is directly under personal hotspot. So you don't have to go in there to turn it off or on. You could just go ahead and turn it off and then go ahead and turn it on. A lot of people like VPNs too because it does help with throttling. So if someone's throttling you because you're using too much data, you can turn this on and they won't be able to see how much data you're using. Once again, this is a sponsored video with Shielded VPN. I want to thank them so much for working with me. I am going to also do their tech support. So you're going to see videos from me on their YouTube channel. If you want to check out their YouTube channel, I'll go ahead and post a video here. And on that channel, I'll be going over a lot more things about VPN, tricks, tips, and all that fun stuff. I really hope this helped. Here's another video I think you'll enjoy. And thanks for the view.